new in AutoCAD 2018. So Autodesk has been uh, releasing more and more updates uh, more frequently um, in, their, in their product range. Um, and AutoCAD is one of the products to benefit from that. So uh, at the moment, I think we're on 2018.1.2. And with that, there have been new features that have been released. Um, what they have done is they've, uh, they've returned back to the highlighting new features. So I think in 2016, they had uh, they highlighted new features. Uh, 2017, they took it away. And then 2018, they brought it back again. So it's quite nice because, you know, as you are going through your different tabs, you can very quickly and easily identify what the new features are. One of the new features I want to take a look at today is the view feature. So creating a new view. So it was a little bit tedious uh, in previously. You had to go to your view manager, then create a new one, and then select it. But now we've got a button to directly create that new view um, immediately. So select new view. Uh, once again, let's give it a name. And then define a window for that view. So I'm going to define this window over here. I'm going to take this component. Okay, so I've created that view over there. So if I had to go and zoom out, select the view that I want, and it'll jump back to that view. Okay, great. So what have they done on a, um, a layout level, so in the paper space? So if I go through, just create a new layout over here. And I'm going to delete this, this viewport. So if I wanted to quickly create a view and put it onto my, my paper space, what do I do? Okay, so on your layout tab, uh, you'll see there's a new function, a new button over here to insert view. If I select the drop down, you'll see that any custom or, or custom views that I've created um, will, will reflect over there. So I can either select that flange or I can actually from here directly go and create a new view. So if I can come to this and say, I want a new view of that. So very quickly and easily, I have now created a new view. Uh, the nice thing about this, if I right click, it also allows me the options to put a new uh, scale in. So let's say one is to two, okay. Select it, and there I've got my new view with my preferred scale. What they've also added with this, um, with all the viewports, is they've got this little grip in the middle over there to easily move your um, your view to to the page to the appropriate uh, uh, position on your page, and then next to it you still got the drop down to say you know what uh, I actually want it to be a bit smaller or I want it to be a bit bigger. So change my view scale on the fly. So just another way that Autodesk is making drawing with AutoCAD easier. Um, thank you very much for listening.